Hey everyone, Mtash here, and today I wanted to break down a very competitive scrim that I played against some top tier guys. These guys are fantastic it's players. I played with Sir Demetrius oh, and Manigator. I wanted to break down some of the good, some of the bad, and this is actually a game that I lose. I don't usually show you games that I lose just because I am a pussy, um, but uh, I just don't show a lot of them because they don't happen. I'm so fucking good. Um, this gameplay, I worked on being very aggressive. That's where a lot of my deaths come from, unfortunately, but I also get some kills where, that I normally wouldn't, because sometimes I play a bit too passive in these games. Uh, so I just not, need to kind of find the middle ground on when to push and when to sit back. Here's an example. I chased way too hard, ended up running into that Alex guy, get taken out, uh, and then I actually forget to call out to mana here, so he gets pinched by both of them. So, my mistake. That's my next big thing that I'm working on, is just trying to communicate. God, it is so hard playing and talking the whole time, calling out where people are, and uh, it's it's just such a different, um, I don't know, environment playing these competitive sweaties or scrim games. But uh, here we go. This is where I start streaking a little bit. This is the best part of the game for me. I struggled uh, near the end, but at the beginning I was really on top of things. I uh, get my first grenade on him. Put a couple shots in, clean him up, and now I'm actually flanking around here because they called out that there was a weak guy. I uh, wasn't able to really find him, and I decide I'm not going to push out just yet. Wait for a second, uh, until Sir Demetrius said that the guy was weak. So I pushed in there, even though I was low because I knew there was one weak player. Uh, I wasn't really at risk of dying. If I didn't push in, the guy would have got away, so it was just kind of the worth. Uh, right there, I was just watching with my sniper in case the guy popped out, but I realized he changed his angle. I see him on the radar, but watch this little section. So I see his little ankle here, and instead of popping out at that angle, I back up a little bit, move out, and go for the snipe. That's because I didn't know if he had a sniper, if he could have seen me. I just wanted to play a little bit safe. Uh, as for this play, as mana pushes up, I notice there's a guy to our right, so I just jump up, change the angle, and that Eddie player, he had no idea really where I was. It was kind of a, a little side flanky shot. Um, no risk for me, but an easy shot on him. After missing this shot, uh, the player backs off and mana starts to chase. And um, I noticed that the player jumped back at him, so I push in really aggressively with my thorn. We team shot him, take him out, so that was just a great little bait and switch with mana and I. No risk of dying there for really either of us. And if I didn't push in, maybe the guy turned on mana, so it was just good play. But here's a, actually a mistake, even though I make a nice play. I push up, even though I actually knew they were going to spawn there, and I still push up. I'm very trapped, but holy shit! Look at this snipe! Very quick snipe, but I'm pinched. There's a grenade right behind me. I should be dead here. I don't even know how the fuck I survived, but I got out of there. Uh, Manigator takes out one of the guys behind me, so that was honestly a fluky play. I got a quick scope on there, and uh, I don't deserve to be alive. Everything I did there, for the most part, was a mistake. Don't do that. Uh, one of the nice things here is Sir Demetrius is calling out that there was a guy weak. I push up very aggressively. I'm starting to respond a little bit quicker to my callouts. I'm trying to be more aggressive, but sometimes too aggressive. Right here, I'm pushing out into this B-plat area, and I'm pinched. There's some guy sniping. There's a guy to my right down below. Another guy on the back of the plat here you're going to see in a second uh, shooting. Or, sorry, on the back of that um, that kind of head glitch there. So I was in a very shitty position to get out of there. Ended up dying. As for this play, uh, essentially, I didn't call out this Sunsinger hitting me. So he's got a full shield. Sir Demetrius is pushing into him. I put him in a shitty situation because I wasn't using my callouts. That's no good. This is just a greasy storm caller where I get a triple kill. Nothing too special about this. I mean, I use my ionic blink a little bit, but for the most part, I just wanted to show you this because I got a few kills, and uh, I want you to think that I'm good at this game. The next play, uh, I miss this snipe here. This is that's fine, not a big deal. I end up dying to a guy spawning A behind me. That isn't why I wanted to show you this. At this moment, Manigator is calling out that there's someone behind him. He is on B right now. He's trying to run away to B, and you can see the guy going to B. So I've heard him call out. I know where I'm spawning here, and uh, I'm just kind of watching, trying to help out Manigator. So that's just a communication thing that I wanted to show you. Nothing too crazy. I didn't even land the headshot, but oh well, I got the kill. Uh, as for this next play, Sir Demetrius ends up dying, but I tried to make it there. I was trying to be aggressive. I was happy with myself, even though I didn't get there in time. As for this one, uh, Manigator is pushing up, and even though I'm weak, I want to help team shot with him. So even though I don't have any health, I'm pushing up with him. This guy comes flying in. I luckily, luckily trade with him because Thorn is broken as all hell. Um, but that was just trying to support mana there. No other reason, really, for pushing that aggressive. On this play... Um, you're going to notice that I wanted to kind of point out players don't give you a second opportunity to snipe and sweaties. If you don't land your shot on the first one, they will not challenge you again because they know you're going to be lined up. They're going to you're going to take their head off. 
Um, so I had a lot of little battles where I wasn't able to react quick enough. I wasn't able to land my shots, and then I'd hard scope the area and waste a whole bunch of time, and there was no one uh, to be found. So I got to be a little bit better with that, not just hard scoping places because I waste a lot of time. Here is a little battle where you're going to see me change angles about four times with the snipe. So I missed this first one, so I decide to jump up on this box. I miss the next one, so I go to the right, miss that one. And now at this point, I go for the thorn because I'm just not feeling my snipes. I really was off with a lot of my snipes today. Again, missed. Uh, the guy ends up running away, but I just wanted to show you that when you're in a sniper battle, be shifty. Don't give them the same shit every single time. If you keep popping out the same angles, you're just going to get domed, and you have to be... Uh, a little bit sneaky when you're sniping. Change your angles, jump up on the box. Do uh, unexpected things if you're going to be in those snipe trades. As for the end of this video, um, all I wanted to say was thanks for watching. Um, there's still obviously some things I need to work on if I want to be kind of one of those uh, tournament players, uh, T1 sweat players. I, I just know I'm not good enough. There's a, there's a few things that really hold me back. My aggression, my callouts, some of my primary battles, I'm definitely getting better. I'm actually going positive pretty much every game that I play, uh, where before I was going pretty negative. But uh, I think there's some things that once I fix them, I can definitely compete, but there's a, a lot of room to grow. And it's kind of nice. It's, it's a nice change to be challenged, I guess you could say, and uh, trying to grow. I highly recommend you find some friends and, and jump into some of these close, competitive games. I know Thorn is... Uh, kind of shitty to use, but you guys can make your own rule set. We were just using the basic sweaty or scrim rule set. And, um, yeah. It's, it's fun. Challenge yourselves. Good luck out there. Hope you liked the video. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments about the video, just let me know. If you liked it, I will make more. If you didn't like it, I won't. So, see you later, my friends. Bye-bye.